What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Gifted Hands back to you with another haircut tutorial. And what we are doing right here is I'm taking my clipper and we are just freehanding the top. We don't want to put a guard on it. We're going to go ahead and just shape everything up and we're going to do a low taper on the sides and a low taper on the back. His father likes to keep a lot of the length up top um, for like a curl sponge look, but I went ahead and already picked his hair out. And this is now me in the stage of shaping his hair. And with this, you wanna have the lever closed that we have a nice precise cut. And just be mindful of, you know, whenever you hold the client's head when you're doing a shape up like this with the fro, um, try not to put your in, you know, your finger imprints in the client's head. That way you can, you know, see the shape of it. After you're done doing that, you can, you know, have control of the client. And if you need to, you know, place your hand on top of his head to move him or whatever. But right here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, taper in the back. And notice my client's uh, neck taper. We're gonna keep it kind of low, but he has like. And a lot of kids have this they have like that middle indention um, that's kind of difficult in getting into those small areas so you're gonna see me favoring a lot of the corners of my blades and just uh, repositioning my client that way uh, it has a nice precise cut but at this point my client had already started dozing off <laughs> and falling asleep my little buddy right here man it, it was later on in the day on a saturday so i could only you know as kids man we we up all day but once we sit down and chill or you know you go get a haircut get that buzzing in the ear it's just like therapy you just want to fall asleep so go ahead and watch this this segment of the video I'm gonna go ahead and do the taper in the back. We're gonna follow the same exact steps. Um, open, middle, close. So, enjoy. So you remember when I told you my client was falling asleep right there? He was like dozing off and I guess his his neck hurt. And what I like to tell my clients is instead of me applying pressure to have them look down, I'd rather the client just look down by himself instead of me pushing his head down. That way I can, you know, get into those tight areas of the neck taper. And as you can tell, like I said, I'm using a lot of corners of that blade to detail those small areas. But you gotta adapt and overcome, right? You gotta adapt and overcome and still have a dope result for the final result. And we're gonna go ahead and do a light taper on the sides as well. No, uh, no sideburn, so we're balding it out. But we're gonna keep this taper pretty low. I want a nice dark C cup and I want some nice gradient C from light, medium to dark. And again, this is what his father likes on his son. So that's what we're doing. He has been to multiple barbers and it seems like they just always take his fade a little bit too high or the father just doesn't like the haircut. So. I've been cutting his hair now for a while, so he's been rocking with me. But he was just super tired this time. <laughs> he actually falls asleep in my chair and I like kind of wake him up, kind of like startle him. And he's gonna sit there and be like, I wasn't asleep. <laughs> Wake up, my guy. Wake up. Wake up. Hi, sweet. Yeah, uh-huh. The camera says different. Now 
And look, I still have to deliver a nice cut. Even though he was falling asleep, dozing off, nodding his head, you know, um, moving around or whatever, I still have full control over my client and I still want to give him a nice haircut. So even during the service, I'll have him, you know, let him know I'm about to do the lineup, you know, try to wake up. I'll, I'll take the air hose that we use to blow all the hair off the client and blow the head in his face to wake him up a little bit or whatever you know i don't want to be mean to kids so um and i'm a father i'm a father of two kids myself so i know what it's like i know what it's like falling asleep in a chair is not the worst thing that can happen for a barber um it's actually sometimes better than moving around and screaming and crying which is fine too but some barbers just don't like it i don't mind it you know it's almost like music to my ears anyways we're gonna go ahead and do the front lineup and I'm just brushing down all the, the hairs in the front. We're not gonna taper it down, but we're just gonna line that up and you're gonna see that everything is gonna look proportionate. Um, you could already pretty much see where his lineup is at. We're just gonna go ahead and just sharpen it up a little bit, but you're gonna see at the end of the result, my man is gonna be crispy, a nice low taper on the sides. We're gonna add some curling cream and some water and then we're gonna do the sponge. But I just think that this was a dope hair tutorial for you guys. I'm still gonna be super consistent on here. I've been dropping a video every week. And as you can tell, like my thumbnails are getting a little bit different and I'm trying to provide a different type of uh, content to you guys. And I'm just kind of just getting back in that algorithm. I've been doing this for eight years now and I'm seeing all the other YouTube channels do what they do and I'm not trying to do exactly what they do I'm taking my technique and everything and what I do and just mixing it all up just mixing it all up So we went ahead and applied some curling cream. I like, I like to use a can to one. Then we're gonna apply some water. Usually you apply water first, but I forgot, but it's all right. Then we're gonna do the curl sponge. This is the Bow Wow curl sponge. So it's like the, uh, the hard rubber curl sponge. It's not the soft one. And it's easier to clean as well and sanitize. That way you can use it on other clients. But we're just going in a clock clockwise motion to create that nice curl pattern look he's still falling asleep <laughs> but anyways guys this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed this haircut tutorial hopefully you learned something from it and um i appreciate you buddy for allowing me to cut your hair i know you're gonna see this later on with your dad hopefully you can see that yes you were falling asleep but it's all good man if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, hit that notification bell. That way when I drop a video, you are the first ones to know. Thanks for watching and as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.